There's a lot of conversations this year about the uncontrollables, the things like weather and commodity prices. But what we want to talk about is what you can control, getting that seed in the ground correctly so that you get your maximum return on that investment. The Echo Crop Tour started last year where we were internally trying to find out what agronomic impacts common planting mistakes may have on yields. There's an opportunity to pull more bushels per acre out of your current operation. Echo has, has been focusing a lot more on the agronomic principles and the agronomic value behind our tools, behind our tractors, behind the sprayers, because that's what matters to a grower. If we focus on that agronomic value, we can put the facts, the figures, the increased yield that we see come from the crop tour plots, the different variables that can be done on the farm. The biggest difference that we're finding this year in overall production, we are seeing great differences in the downforce control along with the depth control. The downforce is showing a huge differentiation in yield and bushels produced. Uh, in this plot in New Ulm, Minnesota, we're seeing a 40 bushel difference from automatic downforce control to a light downforce not properly setting the planter, not getting that seed to depth and the right seed to soil contact next to that seed. We need to have equal and even emergence across that entire field. That's what we're all trying to achieve. And by having the proper downforce, we're able to better suit those needs of that corn plant and the soil conditions around it. That seed to soil contact and making sure that we're maintaining that depth. We go and we do the work to find that right soil moisture content, the right soil temperature, if we're not setting the downforce correctly for it, we're losing some of that optimal planting depth. So downforce on the planter is essentially how much weight is on that row unit. Delta Force um, is the automated downforce control option on a 9800 VE series planter and it is a great, great uh, downforce product. Essentially what it does is it takes the guesswork out of where do I set my downforce system? Where do I set the applied downforce? So a grower would simply select how much gauge wheel weight they want to carry, and then automatically, row by row, the Delta Force system will apply downforce or lift force to maintain a consistent gauge wheel weight. Last year, with Crop Tour, we took these plots to yield, and what we found was that when we set the downforce system light and didn't have full ground contact and lost depth, we definitely lost yield. It was about 49 bushels per acre. So a big loss, um, but that's expected. Most growers say, I know that's a problem, so I'm gonna set my downforce system plenty heavy. The issue comes in when there's excessive weight on the gauge wheels, a few hundred pounds on the gauge wheels, that's creating compaction, compaction right along the seed. And when those roots develop and the ear is setting its maximum rows around and rows long, that stress that's caused by the compaction uh, creates a smaller ear. Downforce is the biggest payback that we're finding in these plots. Correct downforce returns more yield than does increasing singulation or being a half inch off on depth. So if growers are saying, I want to improve my planter, how do I do that? The first step would be make sure downforce is operating right. All of them are important. Obviously all of them provide yield increases, but running downforce correctly is the biggest, uh, biggest payback.